alarm just went off but in more serious undertone hello folks gonna skip the intro today because we're in a much more serious mode as you can see here moderate risk of severe thunderstorms issued for today the threat of strong tornadoes and damaging winds above hurricane force here so we're going to be kind of quickly skimming over the time frame more so than anything else we've been talking about the setup kinematically and thermodynamically over the last couple of days especially if you got to see the streams so we're just mainly going to go over our times and the hazards we can expect but this is what we're looking at right now we have a 15 percent hatched risk over towards jackson mississippi through mobile and just east alexandria here with a threat of strong tornadoes possible this also is persistent in the 10% uh, area, which even includes New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Storms are likely to fire here this morning as well as we get later into the morning. So we need to be keeping our eyes open here. I actually have Radar Omega here on my secondary screen. Not really worried about showing you guys anything right now. Nothing going on at the moment, but things can quickly change. And this is likely how it's going to be throughout the day. Damaging winds, pretty similar deal good chunk of that 30% area has the hatch risk definitely pay attention if you're in that 45% area same area as that tornado threat by the way hail threat is going to diminish just slightly but you could see some larger stones in this 15% area as well even if you're in that 5 or 2% area with the tornado threat you need to be paying attention as well but the most dangerous threat as of right now is leaning more so towards the Gulf Coast and just a little bit north of that so South Central Alabama South Central Mississippi, Central Louisiana, eyes are on you today. This is what we're currently looking at as we're going to be progressing throughout the day here. This is the storm mode that we're most likely to see. We're going to see mostly a threat that favors damaging winds here, but we need to be on the watch for discrete supercells ahead of this front because that's going to be the key component to everything. I definitely see a look where we could see maybe even a bow echo or derate shale occur. Uh, derate shale is usually a long distance windstorm. We do have the distance that we do have enough distance here to where if it could cover it, it will be classified as such. And then of course, towards the back end of this, we still have to watch for these discrete cells popping up ahead of the line. Eventually as they merge into the line, we could also have embedded supercells as well. And this is going to be persistent all throughout the the morning, afternoon, and even into the evening here. But this is what we're looking like. This is about the time frame that we were at we're at currently as I do the start of this video. This is just before 6 a.m. Eastern, so about 5 a.m. But this is getting towards 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Central. Already see some storms here starting to become more severe. You can see it with these little brown helicity streaks. This is these helicity streaks are for your updrafts here. The stronger the updraft, the stronger the storm. And you can see multiple helicity streaks as we get closer and closer towards lunchtime. Things starting to really peak right around lunchtime and then a secondary wave begins to develop over here. And this could be what affects Southern Alabama and Southern Georgia here. Now the thing with this is, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a thing with work and maybe go live while I'm at work. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm definitely going to try here. But in any case, though, if you happen to be in any threat of severe weather today, whether it's the 2% area, 15% area, it does not matter. You need to be staying weather aware today. But that being said here, I'm going to go ahead and quickly get off of here. I know it's a short video, but at this point, we've talked about this so much. If you, I can't drive this point across to you, I don't know what else can, I can do at this point. But I'm not trying to scare anyone. Always trying to keep you weather aware and staying ahead of the game here. That being said, you guys do that for me. And I'll see you later this afternoon as quickly as I can. Until then, take care and have a safe and awesome rest of your day.